Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Distributed Switch Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about network I.O. control capability of vSphere Distributed Switch. In previous lecture, we had demonstrated you network I.O. control capability by taking example of system traffic as virtual machine traffic. In this lecture, we are going to demonstrate you network I.O. control capability by taking an example of system traffic as vMotion traffic and we'll see that how network I.O. control provides sufficient control to the vSphere administrator in the form of limit and share parameter to enable and ensure predictable network performance. So with that, let's get started. As you could see that, we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Now let's go and browse our data center. Now let's go and browse our saesxi01 host. And as we discussed, we are going to demonstrate you network IO control capability by taking system traffic as vMotion traffic. And to perform the vMotion, we are going to refer virtual machine named as migrate vm for our reference click on migrate vm and we do see that this vm is running on host named as saesxi01.govmlab.local now click here to open a putty session let's log into that esx host let's run the command esx stop press n key for the networking view and we do see that this is our networking view of esx stop command and we do get all the networking statistics of our ESXi host. Now click here to verify the networking stats and currently if you do see that there is no traffic which is going from VM kernel 1 adapter because this VM kernel 1 adapter is going to carry the vMotion traffic and because we have not performed any migration that is the reason it shows packet statistics as 0. Now click on here right click on that VM click on migrate and let's try to migrate that VM so click on next select that data center and select the destination host as saesxi03 select this data store as a target data store we are not making any changes to the network configuration so we are pretty good here click on next click on finish click on recent task and as you do see that the migration has triggered and migration had started now let's do one thing what we are going to do we are going to start stop watch and we're going to see that how much time it takes for migration to complete so let's go to google let's type for stop watch click here to start the timer click here to open the putty session and look at that as soon as we started the migration we do see that our kernel vm kernel 1 is getting 358 megabits Per second as a network bandwidth to perform the migration now as you do see that counter reset to zero which means that vmotion is completed so let's go back to our vSphere client and let's have a look and as you do see that vmotion has completed successfully so now let's go back to our stopwatch and let's see that how much time it took and if you do see that it just took 13 seconds for us to complete this migration and what is the average bandwidth we have seen that close to like 3 340 megabits per second right so now let's go back to our vSphere client let's go back to our ESX host that is the migration VM now let's do one thing let's go to networking configuration of our distributed switch and now let's try to enable network IO control and let's see that once we enable network IO control how does it it actually impacts our virtual machine performance and duration so thank you for watching this video if you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.